I real life don't even know what to say, man. I just can't believe it. I really can't believe this is happening right now. Shit really just bother you up in here. You know what I mean? Not only because of who he is and what he was to a lot of us. Um, it's just, it's just the way, way everything played out too. It's just like, it's just unbelievable, man. And in the moments of like, just reflection and thinking about, just thinking about his his impact and remembering like when I was when I was a kid and just watching this dude. Like this video we finna watch right now, man. It's like I, I th this was like a core piece, not for like my style or anything, but it was a core piece for for everything when I was getting into dance. Like, like to see him represent, to see a black man on that stage, do the styles and represent the styles and represent the culture. Like at the time, this was this was like another you got served piece to me. You know what I mean? Like the same way that I studied that choreography from those movies and like wanted to be everything that they was in the movies, like like watching this clip right here and remembering him for, for everything that 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 he that he that he did as he progressed within his career. This was like the core core piece for me in the beginning. This was like the core piece in the beginning. So I just wanted to like come on here and if I was gonna make a video on anything, just to show love. To show love to my man Twitch, man, and just wish it could have been different, but I but I understand. I just it's like I don't understand, but I understand how the mental, man. The mental, the mental is strong. The mental is strong. So I wanna, I wanna like shift, shift energies a little bit, and just kind of bask in like the memory of something that was like super important, super meaningful to a lot of people, and uh, just kind of just, just rap, just rap a little bit about it. In that line, someone we know very well is drawing a crowd. My name is Stephen Boss, aka Twitch. I'm 25 years old and I'm from Montgomery, Alabama. The Boss. Uh, last year, I actually auditioned in LA, made it impact to at Vegas, and uh, when it came down to the pickings, there was one. It was one slot for a guy left, and it was between Hawk and myself. Twitch, we are not going to ask you to stay with us. I'm back this year to try it again, and the approach I'm taking is going to be a little different, which I'm a little scared of, because usually my solos, um, I like to do a lot of humor and stuff and approach it from a joking angle, whereas today, it's not going to be like dead serious and, and all emo, but it's just, I'm not going to be like, you know, relying on the joke. I'm, I'm excited though, because I plan on trying a couple of different things that I've learned since Vegas last year, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully they like it. Twitch, let me be perfectly honest with you. If you don't make it through Vegas this year, I'm going to kick your ass. Do huh? this. And cue music. It's crazy, man. He made me want to dance to this song and everything.
happy you're back. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just a treat to watch you. Hey, we could watch you all day and night. Unbelievable. Yeah, you get stank face from me. <laughs> What's that mean? And when you're watching someone so good, you're like, it stank uh, because it's so good. It stinks. Why do people it stinks. Spunky, spunky. Um, I think you, I think, you I think you're magic. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and I think you deserve. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Twitch, have you got news for me? I do have news for you. I'll be spending a couple of days with you in Vegas. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sweaty. That's My bad. So I'm so sorry. Oh, yes, you are. Yeah, I am. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I went ahead and did a little bit of work on Cat's sleeve. But... I watched this shit so much as a kid, man. I wanted to know how to move like that. This was like a, a gateway for me. You know what I mean? Like when I really reminisce on the beginning, like we have all the, the big name figures that we might've looked up to, but this one was also like a key figure for me, even for my family. Cause at the time, like, so you think you can dance wasn't, I mean, it could have still been everything that we know it to be now. But when I was younger, I just didn't, I wasn't aware of all those things. So I felt like I saw little glimpses of the styles, you know, be represented in a way. And, and he he was the one that broke through. He was the one that broke through for me, man. He was the one that really held it down. And then to meet him later, do like some, some dance stuff with him. Like we sessioned one time at the studio in Long Beach. Um, meet him later in life as I progress more in the dance. Um, connect on Instagram and just, just stay like, it's just, it's, you know, how things play out, like from that moment of me being a kid and then immersing myself more and more to the point where I recognize his significance, even as I progress, because at the time I was just infatuated with the movement, but you know, to see how he's still been able to be relevant even, or still be able to like commit to everything to, to showcase the dance and just be that shining light. You know what I mean? to the point where it catches everybody off guard. Everybody, everybody. Nobody waking up to today, this morning, and thinking it's, it's the farthest thing from your mind. Like to the point where I'm saying it's just, you don't even believe it. I don't believe I'm making this video right now. You know what I mean? But within what I create here on the channel and this being such an influential guy, an inspiration to so many people, a pillar of the culture it's like not to really harbor on it and make it anything like super heavy like it, it was even ironic you know what i'm saying like he was like not to make it like all emo and like super serious but it is a serious thing man just because of how everything went down just my own personal struggles and realizing like how how like blacked out it can get up there you know what i mean and you just you lose touch with reality. You lose. You lose. You lose. You, I don't. I don't. I. You know. I can't say what it was for him specifically, but I just feel like when you get to that point in your own process in your own life, and then you hear about these kind of cats, you just start to realize a little bit more. Though you start to like, you feel like you just understand. Like even when I thought about at certain times, like Robin Williams was a big was a big name for me. You know what I mean? And then when it got to that point for me, I felt like. I felt like I got to moments where I understood, like, damn, nah, I, I don't know what you was going through personally. I just feel like you just, you understand that mental struggle is, 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 is warfare, man, is warfare. I just, I just contemplate all the struggles my man might've been going through, but you just always feel as if when you think about his name and you think about what he was doing, you always see maybe that smile on his face. So you see his dance, you see his movement. You see him on the Ellen show, holding it down on the turntables. You just you just don't see how everything ended up. You just don't see it, man. So I just want to kind of make that make that statement for anybody else um, that could also be going through it. You know what I mean? In the shadows or just, you know what I mean? 
anybody that just struggles with that type of stuff. I I, I want I, it's like I don't want to be the cliche to say go get help and go to, but it's like just don't don't just please just don't give up, man. That's talking to myself too. Just do what you got to do, man. If that's if that's if that is get help or whatever whatever that is in a healthy way. And just because I also feel like even in talking about like generational trauma and like a black experience, black culture, like getting help ain't really ain't really seen as like the wave. You know what I mean? It's 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 on it's looked down upon. You know what I'm saying? Like like you weak for that. So you gotta you gotta struggle it out. And if that's not for you, I know I understand what that means personally so it's not even like i'm just telling people that's what other people experience like i know i know what that feel like so just 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 continue to do your best man just continue to do your best surround yourself with the loved ones or tell the people that you don't even know possibly is going through it that you don't even know just tell them reach out man just reach out just reach out man just reach out just reach out just reach out just reach out just reach out. I know you might have your reasons not to. Just whatever. Just just reach out and just reach out. It don't got to be nothing crazy, but just in moments like this, I wish I could have just said what's up to him one more time or something like that. You know what I mean? I feel like we always say the same thing. Like we we be like real life dumb. We just keep seeing it play out like the same way in instances where we keep getting reminded of the same messages and, and like we can't change everything, but like the things that we can do, just like. Just, just, just try to do your best, man. Just try to do your best, man. And Twitch, I'm thankful for everything, man. I'm thankful for everything that you gave me, man. Without even really knowing it, you know. I know you know you had an impact. I know you don't. I know you know that. You, you was a, you was a big figure to a lot of us, man. A lot of black men, a lot of black women. You know what I mean? A lot of us dancers. You know what I'm saying? Show, showed a lot of people the way, especially people that got in contact with the dance on. So you think you can dance? You know what I'm saying? I know you had a lot of impact. I know, I know you 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 open a lot of doors for people, man. Um, I'm just thankful, man. And I'm just, you know, it just hurts. It just hurts, man. But I, I hope I hope everybody can can understand and learn from these types of situations to just to just just do your best, man. Just do your best and, and try to find try to find it. Try to find it, man, to keep going. Please, please, please. Twitch, we gonna miss you, man. We gonna miss you in a real way, man. And everybody else, man, just big love, man, from the dock. Big love, man. And uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna see y'all when I see y'all. Peace. <laughs>